Hello there and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use the market analyzer with uh, our zero lag uh, oscillator indicator. If you're not familiar with the zero lag oscillator, you can uh, have a look at uh, a couple of uh, the other videos uh, on my channel here for a quick intro to what it's all about. Uh, for this video, I will focus on the market analyzer feature of NinoTrader. Uh, and how to use that uh, with the data series that comes with uh, the indicator. All right, so uh, what I've uh, added here is uh, the market analyzer, as you see. And um, first step here is uh, just to right click. Uh, and um, I've added the instruments already here, but you can do so yourself by going in here. And otherwise uh, you go into the columns and uh, what I usually do is to clean up this a little bit. Uh, just uh, happy with having the last price and the instrument in here. And then I start adding the data series uh, for the zero lag oscillator. You have both setup, setups and signals. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll just work with the signals here. So you double click this. And uh, one particular important feature here is the look back period. The indicator requires uh, three times the oscillator look back period in order to normalize the, uh, the values here. So by just adding a zero here to the look back, uh, we have uh, enough data to uh, read the signals and setups uh, correctly. And then you can uh, go on here to uh, add your cell conditions. So for a long signal, we'll work with a uh, green background. And we'll set this uh, text to black to make it a little bit uh, more readable. And uh, we'll just enter here long key retracement. For long signals, it's a positive one. So greater than 0 0.5, we'll be able to catch that. And for red, or for short, we'll use red and modify the text, of course. And negative here, minus one for the short signals. So less than minus 0 0.5, we'll catch that. And that's all there is to it. If you didn't catch it on the first go, uh, we have two more signals to go here. So. Uh, the uh, secondary retracement signals are added uh, simply by double-clicking this again. And uh, again, the slight modification here on the look-back period, adding the conditions, setting the background color to your liking, as well as the text color. Replacement greater than 0 0.5. Red for shorts. Less than minus 0 0.5. And finally, the Momentum signals here. Greater than zero point five. OK, so I think that's uh, all there is to it. Now we can uh, hit OK for this and see if we get some signals here. No signals for the one minute uh, data series. So what we can do 
is just uh, to go in and first re rename this to one minute. And then we can go on to duplicate this in a new tab, rename it for three minutes, because now we'll change the input series for these side conditions. And you do so by activating the data series, going in here, changing this to three for all of the cells that we have, all of the columns that we have uh, added here. And we see we have a uh, short key retracement in crude and a short secondary retracement in the uh, Euro futures. So let's have a look at this. You see the short key retracement signal here. And we see the secondary retracement signal here, following a momentum and a key retracement. So following this logic, uh, we can uh, go on to duplicate this again in a new tab, rename it to five minutes, and then changing the input series again for our columns to five minutes. So this is a way to economize your screen space if you're working with uh, just one or two monitors. You can use this uh, to view different retracement signals. I have uh, several tabs added here. So we see we have a key retracement both in the five minute and a three minute chart here for the Euro futures contract. And by going through these tabs, you will be able to monitor the signals in multiple time frames fairly easily. All right, uh, I think that concludes uh, this little tutorial. I hope uh, it was of value to you. If you have any questions for me, uh, feel free to drop me a line at info at lizardindicators.com. Otherwise, uh, via the contact form, at lizardindicators.com. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot and uh, talk soon.